Welcome back everyone. Today, Jack and I are going to embark on one of the most ambitious projects we've ever tackled, and that is to build a bridge, but not just any bridge, a bridge strong enough for the tractor and the truck and whatever else we want to drive across it. So the first thing Jack and I need to do is we're going to throw the backhoe attachment on the tractor so we can get the foundation started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side apart and want you to pay attention and I'm going to have you do the second side. Okay. First thing I did was I pulled this link. So you go ahead and just mirror what I'm doing there. Ow. So this is now going to the tractor, right? Mm-hmm. Pull that back. And then what do we do? Do we use that to push it up or? Kind of, I'll show you here. And then this goes back to the tractor. So you can see what we've done. Mm -hmm. There was a loop of hydraulic power pressure. Mm -hmm. Now it's going through the backhoe so we can power it. The tractor's powering it. Watch, tell me when we're high enough. Keep going. How's that look? Yep, now we just have to drop this down. Okay, go ahead and drop them down evenly. So these big pins right here, mm -hmm. they're gonna go in here. So you can see they're not quite lined up. Uh huh. So what we gotta do is kinda use the back to adjust them. So just step back a little bit. So tell me when those are lined up. I can't tell from here. Okay, how about right here? All right, go ahead and put your lock in. Okay, so this fence is going to come down, so just turn your, turn your face so you don't get something that gets in your eye. Well, we'll cut this fence out. We'll take two sections out, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll lift the posts out, and then we can drive through. So this is where Jack and I have decided to put the bridge. Uh, right here, this is a portion of the property that we have not been able to really get to with vehicles because of this, um, well, the stream bed right here, this dry stream bed. It's seasonal. So it's uh, not very deep, it's only about three feet deep or so, but it runs pretty heavy, a couple feet of water for half the year or so. We'd really like to be able to get our vehicles across here. So we have to build a bridge that's strong enough uh, to span this at about 12, 14 feet and be able to support the weight of the equipment you know, with any implement that we have on there. So we're gonna make it heavy duty, aren't we, Jack? Mm -hmm. Very heavy duty. So right now we'll start with the foundation with our timbers and we'll start leveling and then we'll have an idea of how far or how long our stringers need to be. Jack, can you grab the laser level, a tripod, and the grade rod? Sure. Okay, so this is a tripod for the grade laser. The grade laser doesn't have a whole lot of adjustment in it, so we wanna make sure that, this, that it's reasonably flat here on the top plate. Mm -hmm. You'll see at the end of the, each, each one of the legs mm -hmm. has a place to put your foot. Take your foot and stomp it down in there. It's important that this doesn't move because it's an expensive piece of equipment. So if you're working where it's windy or something, or even if someone bumps it slightly, it's not gonna knock it over. Uh -huh. So you can kind of eyeball that. Does that look pretty flat there? Yeah. Okay, so go grab the laser and the grade rod. So this grade laser level here, it doesn't, probably doesn't look like much to you. But when I was a young man, 
and I had to buy this thing. It was, I can't tell you the sacrifices I had to make to buy this. <laughs> it was like $3,000, $3,500, you know, and that's when that really meant, it definitely really meant something. And I was, had huge equipment payments and was just getting started in my excavating business. And it was just something that I had to have. But man, it was a hard, it was, I think it was the hardest thing I've ever had to try to buy. So this, so there's a, a like a tripod stud on there. So you put that on there and you screw this on here. I love how it has just a uh, screwdriver handle. Yeah. Now come over here, I'll show you how to level it. See the bubble there? Mm -hmm. All right, so there's three adjustment points right here. Mm -hmm. You see them? So you bring that down there until that level is exactly in that bubble. Mm -hmm. You see it? Just like that? Mm -hmm. It will not spin if it's not level. This is the receiver. Mm -hmm. This is the sensor. This thing is throwing out a invisible laser that is 360 degrees and it's perfectly flat. Mm -hmm. It gives us a benchmark. It gives us a point of reference when we're doing our excavating. And oh. every time you, you get one of these, you'll find, notice that the battery is dead. <laughs> I don't know why it is. You want to grab a 9-volt out of the camera box? Sure. Do you know where they're at? Um, I think so. Okay. So the, the main spinner, the laser, takes up a D, four Ds. This takes a 9-volt. This grade rod mounts on here, right? Mm -hmm. So stand, you're blocking the laser there. Stand the other side of the leg. So this is how a solid tone is perfect. If it's that fast beeps, mm -hmm. means it's low. Excuse me, slow beeps means it's low. Fast beeps, it's high. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you get tired of that, let me know. You'll, you'll be tired of it by the end of the day. I know I will. So let's do some math here. So what are we gonna have? We're gonna have, let's start at the bottom. We're gonna have a, a six by six, mm -hmm. right? So that's six inches. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have 10 by 10s. Mm -hmm. So let's add this up. So what do we have? 16. Then we're gonna have four inches of decking on top. So we're gonna have uh, 20 inches. And four inches of gravel. 24 inches. 24 inches, that's our excavation, is gonna be two feet deep. So our first foot will be five. Mm -hmm. Second foot, another five. Mm -hmm. There's our 24 inches. What did mama make us for lunch here? It doesn't feel very heavy. I love how we, we spent like it. Must be a light lunch. We spent like half an hour looking for this container and then mama just whips it out of she nowhere. She where it was, I know. I tried to call her, but she was in her class. What are you, what, what are you having, peanut, peanut butter? Look, no way, she sent us some organic, non-low-fat, cultured cottage cheese. This one's for you? Uh, mine is the turkey. Turkey, and I've got peanut butter and jelly, okay. All right, you wanna start the blessing for us? Sure. Take your hat off. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that we can be out here together making this nice bridge for Mama, and that it's such a beautiful day that we can do this on. Amen. Amen. Looks like a, a whale to me. See his mouth open? Oh yeah. That's a short one. <laughs> and he's lost his tail. Moby Dick. So when you're checking grade for a machine, you don't have to do a, a you don't have to be real precise, just quick. I just want to know, just check in three spots, see we're a foot low there. Mm -hmm. So make sure you, I should, you know, I haven't ran equipment for a long time. We used to be able to dig flatter than this. So you have to see this and you have to be knowing that. So when I'm dumping, you come over here and you check, you communicate to me. You should be here working with me. 
communicating back and forth so that we don't remove any more dirt than we have to. Okay. Okay. So let's rake this out real quick and then we'll put our gravel in. All right, I'll rake if you want to grab the grade rod. And we'll, we'll rake it right to grade, starting on this end right here. Give me a check right there. Watch your footing here. Are we using both logs? No, just one per side. Let's place it right in the middle. Run into the cab and grab the blue four-foot level. Uh, of the truck? Yep. I'm going to do this one. And I want you to do the other one, so pay close attention. So what you have to do is you have to drill in the hole. Right, so in these drills, there's a high and a low speed. When you're using a huge bit out, you know, it's way bigger than you probably should use slow. on this drill. Yeah, go with the slow speed. So we'll just go right in the middle here. Imagine if I had gotten this small drill. Yeah, and here we go. Now, grab the sledge. Now, you stand over on that side to kind of counteract the weight. We don't want to get too crazy with it because we don't want to knock it out of out of uh, level. Okay, come on over now. Now when you come down here, go light and stop it when it's flush. We don't want to beat on this too much. Up for a minute. Okay, you're bending and you're not using a lot of control. What I mean by control is the face of the hammer mm -hmm. should be parallel to the face of the bolt. When you're hitting like this, it's going to glance off. Mm -hmm. Like this, it's going to glance off. So even if you need to reposition your body and get down on your hands and knees, you want to strike like this. Just let the weight of the hammer. When you're little or you're not as strong and you have a huge hammer like this, if you try to swing it, it really affects your accuracy. So let the tool do the weight. Well, it affects your accuracy at any age. It, it, true, yeah, without practice. But let the tool do the work, is what I'm saying. See how I'm lifting it up? Mm -hmm. Just lift it up. I'm not even exerting any energy. I'm just letting the hammer fall. Try that. Better. There. Good. That's the way it's done. So that's it, guys, for the bridge Part one, I thought we'd get both sides done, but uh, next half of the day was spent getting the machine and all backhoe and all that stuff on. So uh, tomorrow will go faster. So we'll get the other side in and then we'll start cutting those giant 10 by 10s. So if there's any engineers in the, in the, in the comments, I'm gonna be using, I plan on using three 10 by 10 Doug furs. Um, spaced out equally over eight feet the width that's an eight footer there and the span i'm guessing 12 to 14 feet i think right around probably 13 14 feet maybe 12 around there so with the decking will be full dimension these are full dimension those 10 by 10s the decking will be um uh four by four four by six somewhere in there depending on what i have but it'll be That'll, that'll go crossways on there and be spiked down onto those 10 by 10. So maybe I don't need the center 10 by 10. Let me know. Um, I, I want to drive a one ton pickup over it and then the tractor and uh, anything else that we have. So I, I'm thinking three would probably be more than enough. So let me know what that comes out to, how much that bridge would hold if you, if you have those special skills. So that's it, Jack. It's time 
to go in. I thought we'd get both these done today, but we'll get the other one done tomorrow. We weren't even close to getting them both done. Well, if you want to work till seven, we can get them done for sure. I'd be up for that. What do you say? You can say no. I'm about to keel over, so no. All right, get all of our tools put away. All of the rakes and the edge tools, put them, neat, uh, put them in the gravel there neatly with the blades down, and we can leave them here, and the power tools we'll take home.